There are quite a few people talking about ways to strengthen your immune system, and most of them are correct, but they aren't giving you the whole picture or talking about the most important thing, low-level radiation from Wi-Fi. So the main points are the reduction of Wi-Fi levels, the removal of toxins from the food and water supply, increasing nutrients in the diet to optimize healing and antioxidant status, exercise, grounding, and a positive mindset. No one dares talk about Wi-Fi or how they're rolling out new towers, but even our current Wi-Fi can be harmful on many levels. It causes consistent low-level oxidative stress, and it's certainly the main cause of very popular things like gut issues, as our bodies are affected by these frequencies, but bacteria and yeast thrive in them. So depending on your individual antioxidant status and what the levels of this radiation is in your home, that will determine how it's affecting you. I have a video on how to reduce these in your household, but the first basic start is to keep your phone on airplane mode as often as possible. Definitely don't sleep next to your phone. Directly wire all internet sources when in use and turn off electronics when going to bed. Again, I can't emphasize this enough and this is the reason that hospitals can be so deadly. They tend to have high levels due to all of the equipment and infrastructure and they know about this. They even have lead rooms that they put sensitive people in so that they don't just you know have heart palpitations or, or an issue and a lot of the symptoms from Wi-Fi can be related to FLU like symptoms such as coughing nasal headache just feeling unwell to reduce toxins from our food and water supply we need to get as close to nature as possible organic, minimal agrochemical usage on the animal and plant-based foods we're consuming. Try to get meat from a local farm or reputable source and make sure that the plant foods that you do purchase are organic or from a farm that does not use herbicides, pesticides, fungicides. These chemicals can also be in our water. In addition to antibiotics and the chlorine and fluoride, they add for our health and, and who knows what else. I have videos on water, but the three options are reverse osmosis distillation, glass bottled water, and finding a local well or spring, you know, filling up on a bi-weekly or monthly basis. Consuming nutritious foods, making sure your diet has a base of quality animal nutrition with plenty of raw and fermented foods will ensure your body has all of the vitamin building blocks it needs to restore tissue. People tend to be deficient in vitamins A, D3, and K2. The first of which is easy to get if you're eating a lot of animal foods. D3 can be supplemented since the sun is only available in the summer, as can vitamin K2, as fermented food access is typically limited. These fat-soluble vitamins are crucial for cell health, hormone production, and of course, immune system strength. We do get some nutrients from our diet for certain antioxidant cycles, particularly B vitamins in the production of glutathione, the master antioxidant in the body, but most people aren't getting enough vitamin C or reducing their oxidized fat intake to optimize the vitamin E cycle. So you can take a vitamin C supplement, uh, ascorbic acid, acerola cherry powder, camu camu powder, liposomal vitamin C, are all good options. The natural food alternative would be plenty of raw milk or freshly slaughtered meat, you know, that was consumed raw or lightly cooked. For vitamin E optimization, you would just have to avoid, you know, high omega-6 feedlot animal foods, keeping omega-3 to omega-6 ratios in check, and focusing more on saturated fats that are less prone to oxidation. For glutathione, you can actually take liposomal glutathione, as well as NAC and acetylcysteine, uh, which is a precursor. Not only are these antioxidant cycles crucial for immune strength, they are also helpful against Wi-Fi signals. You can learn more about these in my Understanding Antioxidants video. Exercise promotes antioxidant production in the body. It activates the genes that defend against oxidation in the body, increasing your natural defenses against free radicals. That combined with grounding, being in touch with the earth, provides free electrons as well. But grounding is ideally done away from the grid as non-native electric fields amplify this which causes issues. So go to a beach or trail to hike. 
You can check out my grounding video if you want to learn more on that. Your mindset is very important as well. Ignore the fear-mongering psychological warfare that everyone is playing into. The media wants you in your house, caged like a rat, worried about what's going to happen. Focus on your life goals, take things day by day, and think about what you're going to do in a positive light. Whether that's instilling this positive thinking in other people, or how you're working towards those future goals. So hopefully this helps some of you guys out and there's absolutely nothing to worry about if you have all of these aspects in your diet and lifestyle correct. The problem is convincing other people that these things are important. You know, your family members, your loved ones, your close friends, getting everyone to realize that we are being played by the elite of this planet. So if you guys could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and of course, share the video if you can. If you guys do want to support me, you can check out Frankie's Free Range Meat for high quality animal nutrition at an affordable price. You can go to organsupplements.com for vitamin D, K2, as well as some other goodies. Uh, Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. And frank for a free carnivore diet meal plan, as well as my carnivore diet course and my book. Thanks again for joining me, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day and tell these punks that aren't addressing the Wi-Fi issue to do it. Otherwise, we're all screwed. We're gonna be baked like chickens.